Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. They are the masters of the security system. It's right there in their name, of course, safety. But if you're building a home and you want a state-of-the-art home theater room, get your contractor in touch with J.J. Sarlis at Safety Systems. Or if you're just trying to build a room in a house that you've already got and you want to turn it into a media room, Safety Systems. Give them a call. Best in town. I promise you that. I speak from experience. All right. Um, you know how I said Mark Pancrass was coming out here? <laughs> well, I lied. Uh, I actually jumped ahead of myself. We had one more football topic to get to before Mark, so he's patiently waiting to the side. My, he's going to charge me more this week. I wanted to look at a comment that Jeremy Pruitt made. Our football team is 100 times better than it was this time last year. I got, our guys are working hard. We're stronger. We're more physical. <laughs> uh, well, actually, let me, let me put up another. He also said, he also said that uh, he didn't see any quit in this team. He said that they've, they've had five guys quit since the season started. So technically, maybe he's saying on the team there's no quit yeah. because those guys have already quit. I don't quit. see it anymore. But those guys have already quit. But anyway, thoughts on the 100 times better than they were last year? If Butch Jones had said that, <laughs> That's they a would, people yeah. would have taken it and beat him over the head with it. Brick by brick, they would have hit him <laughs> all the way out of town. I, I don't. I, to me, that's the kind of thing you say when you're just you're you're you're. Well, I was about to say something I shouldn't say. <laughs> when, I can only get that. Just, yeah, <laughs> when, you're, when you're just trying to when you're just trying to get people to. Free, I, I mean, a thousand, a hundred times better. I think that's just stupid. I think that is stupid. BSing. Uh, I was going that's that fair. direction. Yeah. That's fair if that's where yeah. you're going. All right, uh, thoughts on this. There are some areas that have improved. You talked about the offensive line. Well, you convinced me in the last segment, David. Offensive line's a little better. There are some other areas, I guess. Linebacker, maybe. I see, I see a future at linebacker. With well, can I ask one question? If you're 100 times better, why are you one and three? That would be a difficult schedule. BYU, Georgia State, man, that's <laughs> yeah. and, and if you Chad really Hager. do believe Chad that, is that borderline wrong. delusional or is that just coach speak with a five star heart? I mean, I think you're seeing Pruitt sort of. Get <laughs> they could have used the five star heart for Georgia State. <laughs> well, they're about to be Sorry. recruiting five star hearts if this thing goes out. <laughs> We're getting really negative. Yeah. I, think, I, mean, I, think, I think you're seeing Pruitt basically look at his team through binoculars from the sideline of, okay, is our team uh, empirically stronger in the weight room? Yeah, probably. They're bigger. Uh, is the team playing better assignment football when he looks back? Probably. When they get lined up, right? Yeah, but when you look at the <laughs> macro, I mean, yeah, it does certainly feel well, very tone deaf. But I think when you're looking at the the absolute, the, the, uh, the sort of granular level, I think he feels that way. Well, I think Tennessee fans would know this. Uh, it's a little, I thought my graphic was up. That's why I'm doing this <laughs> to you at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, put the graphic back down. Put the graphic back down. <laughs> um, what I was going to say is, what was I going to say? Oh, what you're saying sounds a bit like, you're watering the bamboo. <laughs> it's one yeah. to grow, but you don't know when it's going to grow. Now that one looks like it's doing. Yeah. But you know, you're looking at it, you're seeing it, it's, it's getting busy, but when's it going to show on the field? All right, I, that, that graphic, what, go ahead. I was just going to say, you go position by position, position group by position group. I will make an argument that you're no better than you were last year when you do it that way. In Your term. defensive backs are not as good as last year. Yeah. Your defensive line is not as good as right. last year. Your quarterback is not as good right. as last year. Receivers are flat. Receivers are basically flat. Tight ends. Um, so so not I, I don't care ends. how you look at it. You may not be any better, which doesn't mean you may you not mean be better next year. As a whole, okay. you may not mm -hmm. be any better. A hundred times is okay. what you said. <laughs> 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 All right. The other graphic that uh, – there we go. Now we're right. Do you guys remember this quote? This was bef this was from SEC Media Days. Oh, wow. Let's just read this. That was interesting. I don't know if his personality is fit to be a head coach. I don't. You have to deal with the offense, the defense. It's not just going in there and dealing with the kids and scheming up. I don't think he's the right guy to kind of be the CEO of a corporation. He's really good managing just a defense and being a defensive coordinator. He needs to prove to me that he can handle the whole ship. I don't think it helps that he doesn't have a lot of talent at Tennessee. That was former Georgia quarterback and ESPN media guy Aaron Murray. And when he made that comment two years ago, or a year and a half ago, most Vol fans and some in the media did what they did when Al Davis warned Tennessee about Lane mm -hmm. Kiffin. Ah, sour grapes, you're an idiot. <laughs> All right, jury's way out. I'm not willing Ooh. to say, yes, he's right, but it does make me look at that quote a little differently now. It did feel at the time like a, like a Rick loyalist upset at Pruitt rocking the boat at Georgia, which he definitely did. Yeah. 
Uh, but now, yeah, I mean, I think the holistic, you know, handling an entire program seems like it has been an issue thus far. Which, you know, and to an extent, we're 16 games into it. Sure. First time head coach, too. Yeah, Always that's what I'm saying. He's 16 games into this. Jeremy Pruitt has said he had a lot to learn, mm -hmm. and we're still waiting to find out if some of the adjustments will, will work. But in the offseason, he talked about mistakes he made in his first year. Yeah, and he made, he made moves to correct them. Whether yeah. or not it's worked or not, he did make moves to correct them. So, All right, uh, when we come back, I promise you, Mark Pancratz <laughs> and Anti-Basketball <laughs> next. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.